before we get into the college football um, fully, um, I'll be honest with you, Ryan. Uh, as you know, I root for you. I root for you all the time. There was one day in particular, you in the Rose Bowl, as a matter of fact, where I was not rooting for you <laughs> at all. No, and no, you weren't. I was, <laughs> what's it like for you to step in the Rose Bowl, to walk into that beautiful stadium that you played uh, in with Washington so State? So excited. So yeah. excited. Uh what an iconic venue, and to be back, you know, uh, being away from calling games a year ago, for this to be the first one, step into that, into the Terry Donahue press box, who recently passed, who I have a really, really neat relationship with because he recruited me, and I watched him and develop, you know, young men into uh, great men, and, and so it's, it's just, it's really great. Uh, and I want to say this, this, this opportunity really presented itself because of of your show and, and the fact that I got the opportunity to sit in your chair and work with Westwood one. That's, that's really kind of, it was one of the best referrals I could get. So uh, I, I appreciate that. Of course. Uh, but I mean, what memories will, will be coming back to you? And of course, Ryan, it's this, it's all good. <laughs> what memories come back to you when you, when you, when you're going to be walking in that stadium? Yeah. Just, uh, just to, co- you know, walking into that stadium and seeing Washington state written in the end zone and I remember looking over at two of my coaches, who you know, guys that I that I'd known since I got there as a freshman, who had kind of grown up as well into their coaching, their coaching prowess. And they were looking up at this uh, at the sky, and I just I asked, well, what do you what are you guys looking at? Is like we've made it. And I go, what do you mean you've made it? Because we're coaching in a game where there's a blimp, and uh, <laughs> that that made a lot of sense to me. I'm like, wow, yeah, there's a blimp, and we're here, and. We're playing for the national championship of sorts against the Heisman Trophy winner uh, and those iconic Michigan Wolverine helmets over there uh, and a, a little guy named Tom Brady on the sideline who wouldn't even sniff the field mm. uh, that game. Uh, it was a special day, special day. As, as many people can attest to, a controversial ending and, and one that I can always say that we didn't lose that game we just ran out of time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll give you more of the floor on that, Ryan. What are you talking about? I don't understand what you're talking about. What do you mean? All right, so on the final play of the game, uh, there was two seconds left. We were on the 26-yard line going in. Uh, I chose to spike the ball uh, instead of running a play, and as I spiked it, I looked up, and there was still a second left on the clock, and and then it ticked away. The officials would run off the field. Michigan would kind of storm the field, but we were left at the 26-yard line with a very controversial ending. In fact, they would change the rule because of that. You are not allowed to spike the football now unless you have three seconds on the clock. So there's a, there's a bit of controversy to it. I, I, I wasn't very pleased with the official as I went after him when the, when the clock finally went to zero. Luckily, Coach Price grabbed me and told me just to be quiet and allowed him to then eviscerate the officials on the way. <laughs> Good the use of room. the word. Good use of the word eviscerate. So, you know, it's, it's just got to play better than the rest ref, though, Ryan. Although you had it. I know. That was, that was that, I mean, I was nervous as a cat. I was so nervous. I remember the ending, of course. And I remember, you know, the whole dream season of Charles Woodson winning the Heisman and – and being out there on the Rose Bowl had to complete it, and I, you know, and I just remember all of that, and I, I just was wondering what what the, that thought process in your head was, just looking back now, where you are. It's exciting. It's exciting, game. and I and the fact that I get to be in that stadium mm. to do what I love to do now, I think there's going to be a just to, I'm going to be overwhelmed with gratitude as I always am. Um, but this more more importantly because of, of the venue and uh, of, of, of the opportunity which has presented itself over the last year and a half with everything that's gone on. You know, we're – us in the Leaf household are pretty, uh, pretty darn grateful and excited uh, for this college football season to kick off. MacGyver's old enough now. I think he may be able to – he may be able to, to come on a few of these trips with me, and I, I'm really, really excited to show him some of these big stadiums and – and venues that, that college football's played in. Love it. And where Dad played, the Rose Bowl, uh, again, on Westwood One Radio, Ryan Leaf calling the action. Who are you calling the game with, Ryan? Uh, Paul Brumeister. Uh, uh, really? MBC, He's, MBC guy, yeah. Dude, he is just uh, – so two quarterbacks in the booth. Yep, yeah. Two yeah, quarterbacks we're in the booth. We're excited to, to get, get together with one another. He gets in tonight. Uh, good. He's such uh, good gonna, people, man. But you and yep. Burmeister will be a great listen on Westwood One Radio. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.